fashion, beauty, or entertainment industry, it is essential that you put your best face forward. I'm talking to Rick Crank of Rick Crank Studios to give us tips on how we should prepare our photos. We're here at Rick Crank Studios talking to the man himself, Mr. Rick Crank. How are you, Rick? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. I just had to stop by because I love your fashion photography. And we are talking today about fashion photography and making sure you have the right portfolio. Why don't you tell me a little bit about who you are, what you do, and then we'll get into the fashion photography. Well, my name's Rick Crank. I am a photographer. I've been doing photography for since for a long time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a pretty long time. And um, started out doing uh, weddings and events, sports, and eventually got into fashion. And have found that fashion is not a bad place to be. Now, with fashion photography, um, telling the the people that are watching the importance of having a great photogra photographer and portfolio. What are the elements of a good portfolio that you've seen over the years as a photographer? Well, what I see and continue to see is people staying current. Okay. I mean, a lot of portfolios, um, people are just putting really unprofessional pictures in them. Uh, they may get their cousin to take a, a cell phone, an iPhone picture, thinking that'll be enough, but it's really not. You really need to find a good professional photographer. <clears throat> um, and someone who's been in the industry, or at least who's looked into the industry and knows what they're looking for. Um, and, and stay current. I mean, it's good to have older pictures, but then you want to chart your progress. And I would say maybe have pictures done every few months because a person's look changes, can change that frequently. Okay, now when I'm talking about a portfolio, uh, for models of course, but when as a fashion professional like myself, um, explain also the importance of making sure that you have a good uh, portfolio for professional shots and things of that nature. What should um, a good headshot consist of and how should a fashion professional uh, go about making sure that they have the right pictures as well? Well, headshots. There are a number of different ways. There, there used to be a standard. It used to be, okay, you need to shoot it like this and they need to be centered or, or the lighting needs to be this. That's out the door now. If you're still going by those rules, then you're gonna get left behind. So nowadays, you look at, you, 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 you're being more creative with it. I mean, headshots can be just a basic uh, neck up. But now, whereas in the past when you wouldn't cut anybody off, now you might crop it at the head or, or crop it below the neck or I mean just and or angle it. They're just all kind of standards now. Or really there are no standards as far as what you can do, as long as the quality is good and the image is good. Yeah. Now if you're uh, in the in the fashion realm, can you be more creative as far as your look? Um, are you seeing more of the fashion professionals that are doing their headshots kind of keep it very professional or are they kind of being a little more edgy, a little more creative? I think nowadays they're being way more edgy. You know, again, it's not the old stand there. And, <laughs> now it's jumping. It's like, and even if, even with it being just a headshot, in a lot of cases, there there's a lot of variety. There's a lot of action, um, a lot of different moods, as opposed to just that same old basic thing. So there's a lot more that's going on now. So now, how can people get in contact with you if they want to make sure that they have the great portfolio, great headshots? What? How can they get in contact with you? Can I look at the camera for this? Okay, find me. Let me hold this. Is this on? The best way to reach me is Rick Crank Photography Studios, Triangle Town Center Mall, Raleigh, North Carolina. And we are mobile, so you can, we'll come to wherever you are. Um, phone number 919-961-6082. Email address, pixbyrick, P-I-X-B-Y-R-I-C, at gmail.com. And you'll, you'll find us on Facebook at Model Mayhem, uh, Muse Cube, just Google it. I mean, not like we're all that great, but we are. Erica King is one of the newest photographers to the Rick Crank team. She gave me a few posing tips. I like lift both of their arms up, but I like doing stuff like this. Like maybe just one arm up, and it makes you just look taller. <gasps> I feel taller. <laughs> Erica periodically hosts a model posing workshop to show upcoming models how to get the most out of their photo session. She stresses the importance of a professional portfolio, not an Instagram feed to book the good gigs. 
She says models need to post professional pictures to social media, but it should not be all that you have. You can follow Erica's Instagram at I am Erica King. Coming up next, closet organization. Are you organized? We're giving you tips on how to be organized and stylish. <laughs>